We are now one month away from the Florida primaries and four months away from the general election. One issue on the mind of election officials tonight is hacking. Congress set aside millions of dollars to prevent cybersecurity attacks. 10 News reporter Garen Flowers shows you what Florida is doing with the money to protect your vote. Anything can be hacked, Garen. John Fay is with cybersecurity firm Abacode. Last year, they showed me exactly how hackers work. Where is it most vulnerable? Usually it's the people. They work to protect organizations from hackers and say government agencies can be hot targets. So it's important to proactively prepare for an attack. So if we look at the overall system, a hacker is going to find the weak point, whether it's with the individuals that might not have been trained or the devices that have not been upgraded. Aha! Congress set aside $380 million just for that purpose. The money was divvied out to different states, and Florida picked up $19.2 million of it. The Florida Department of State sent me their plan. They'll be hiring a team of cybersecurity specialists to assist state and local election officials. Other money will be sent to the supervisors of election, and it must be used for cybersecurity. Barry Edwards is a St. Petersburg political expert. He says it's usually foreign governments that want to mess with elections, like Russia in 2016. But they really wanted to delegitimize our voting system and elections and democracy in America, which they, which they succeeded. Democrats think that they rigged the election, Republicans don't, but it just caused friction that we didn't need to have. But how about this twist? He says most election hacking isn't about elections. The danger of uh, hacking is getting your personal information, because when you register to vote, a lot of times they have your driver's license number, social security information, uh, they have your address, date of birth, etc. The state is expected to put cybersecurity policies in place before the November election. In Tampa, Garen Flowers, 10 News. We asked some of our local counties what they plan to do with the money. The Hillsborough Supervisor's Office says that it does not discuss security measures, but will have improvements in place by November. Pinellas said it will <laughs> receive $666,000, but also would not comment on how it plans to enhance security.